What's happening people? Saeed TV here, match reaction, Manchester United 1, Leicester City 1, draw specialist man, I called it man, if people wanted to know my predictions before the game, I called it 1-1 one, one. and it's 1-1 one, one, man and you know what, that's what we deserve, that's where we are man, I'm not going to get angry me, because I know where the club's at and we are draw specialists, we don't have the, we don't have the quality to beat these kind of teams. I don't think Leicester were great. I'll be honest with you, they were poor in moments. They probably should have won the game. Yeah, see you later, Leslie. They probably should have won the game, but listen, this is where we are, people. This is the new reality of Manchester United. This is the new reality of Manchester United. We are meant to be here. That's why you shouldn't get angry. Every Man United fan that's watching this match reaction, this is where we are. Don't get angry, people. I called this 1-1 one, one, and the team live up to it. Ronaldo or not, mate, I think even if Ronaldo plays today, I think it's still 1-1. One, one. I genuinely, genuinely do because this team is meant to be Europa League standard. It's meant to be in and around that area, man. We don't have enough quality. Um, it's a team that's dysfunctional, a team that wants to play side to side passing, um, a team that can be vulnerable in any position, any stage, a team that can't dictate games, a team that can't control games, a team that's a mismatch, barring Fred. Barring Fred, honestly, there isn't any much, there wasn't much anyone else out there that pulled in a performance David De Gea should have you know I mean did unbelievable with that save but listen people this is where we're meant to be man you know what I mean this is the opening standard man so yeah draw specialist man how, how many points have we dropped at home this season at home Watford Southampton Gio, um you know the amount of points we've dropped in general Everton at home is when Leicester we played there sorry under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer there's been so many so many drop points and that's why I said people we don't deserve top four because ultimately if you don't play into your hands and today this is in our hands this is at home but we never play at home I always one thing I always criticize about my United Football Club is that we lack to dictators in our midfield we're playing Pogba in an unnatural position again with Fred they couldn't get the balance together in there Bruno's wanted to play up front he again is not a striker I don't know where Rag Ragnick got that wrong I don't know you know what I mean but there is much else out there that's a the problem there isn't much else out there Cavani's playing injury all the time he's always injured Ronaldo's ill I don't know what happened with that illness but listen man we've got average players man whether you like it or not man Ilanga average Rashford average you know what I mean McTominay average Bruno here and there man he's not a big game player I said it man Maguire you know what I mean to be fair he did alright but then again the last goal the disallowed goal he steps in shocking but that's Maguire Varane I don't think he had a good game Dallo towards the 15, last 15, 20 minutes, he did well. Tell us average. But listen, we're just average people, man. Like I said to you, man, this is where the club's at, man. This is where we are at in terms of our football club. We lack the, the, the end quality and we, have, we haven't got enough quality in this team, man. It's as simple as that, man. Not enough top players at this football club that can win a game by, by the scuff of the neck, that can dictate, that can play on this theatre here. This is, this is literally... You know what I mean? Look at the pitch, man. The pitch is immaculate. The players aren't. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? David again. I think we're lucky to get this draw. I don't know about you guys, but I think we're lucky, man. Very, very lucky, lucky draw because Leicester should have scored. Leicester were toothless up front. In the actual, okay, he got the goal, but there was so many times where him and Madison and certain little players, Barnes, just, they couldn't get that final ball in. And if they had a bit about them, that killer instinct, but they lacked it today. So, yeah, man. This is, this is just a summary of the whole season where we've been very, very lacklustre. The whole season has just been like this for me. And I think- Can you blame it now, Shaheed? Yeah, 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 look at another one. Now, yeah, 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 there's another one here. He's saying to me, who are you blaming? He's asking me who I'm a blaming, man. These top reds, man, I'm telling you, man. They think about everyone else barring me. I'm blaming my United Football Club, and this guy comes all the way down here. It's about, how old is he? He's probably about 60 years old, man. And he comes up to me and says, who am I blaming now? When I'm looking at the bigger picture. This is the problem, man. I said to you already, the fan base here, for me, I, are also a problem because they're not seeing the clear clear problems that are on the football pitch yet he comes up to me and says who are you blaming now <laughs> I've gone past blaming but he's thinking that I'm blaming players listen I know that this football club and these players are not good enough I, I just don't have the energy anymore to criticize anyone I don't have the energy anymore to criticize anyone but these lot here are playing tick for tack these lot here are thinking that I'm putting a negative output in this team. I'm showing the true reality of what's going on right now. And the true reality is that these players 
and, 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 and this football club isn't good enough to compete with the big boys. They're not good enough to be top four. They're not good enough to be top two. They're not good enough. It's as simple as that. They are not good enough to be competing with the big boys. And it needs a rebuild. It absolutely needs a rebuild. Whether it's Pochettino, whether it's Ten Hag. For me, forget this season. Forget it ever happened and start again in the summer and get a massive clear out because they're not good enough. Tell has Shaw not good enough. Maguire ultimately not good enough. Dalo question mark. Fred, I thought, you know what, is our better player today? McTominay not good enough. Bruno, on the biggest stage, can he deliver? Pogba, maybe it's time to go. Rashford came on zero impact. Ilanga not good enough. Sancho needs to, to kind of get his rhythm in. I think maybe next season we maybe can see the best of Rashford. But again, ultimately, on the bench, you've got Matter on the bench. Not one really to kind of help you on the bench, man. And that's just the, 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 the kind of true reflection of the football team. But like I said to you people, um, top four, like I said, it's not within our reach now. I think for me, that's dead and buried. I think we have to look towards next season. Arsenal, they've got a pro, they've got a process. Arteta, they know what they're doing. Young, hungry team, playing to his style and to his strength. Our team, no style, no strength, man. And that's just a problem. Ragnik, you know, if you heard about his press conference, he said, you know, we need players next season who are going to be have the ability, especially with the mental strength as well. So if he's saying and if he's calling it, then. You know, I mean, who are we to say anything in it? And that's just a bottom reality. But listen, man, I'm not, I'm not surprised by this today. Like I said to you, if Tars around the corner for me, so I'm going home smiling, man. You know what I mean? This team, they don't need to disappoint me, man. You get me? Because I know what this club is, man. I know what this club is. I know what this club are. And we are mediocre. And we, we deserve to be where we are. It's a simple reflection. You might not gonna like what I say. And these lot here, these top friends, they're not going to like the reality of what I say. But because it hurts them because I'm saying it and you know what maybe they don't want other clubs or other teams or other fans to hear what I'm saying but I'm not asking mate. I, I call it as I see it I want people to know what's going on in this football pitch and it isn't good enough people anyway like the video subscribe to the channel um, match vlog coming soon people 1-1 Paul